going on. Just remember, if you need to move around at all, you can move around uh, to see any details you like. I'll try and get the angles good. But what we're going to do is continue with the Delahiva. So this time we're still working on our Delahiva when the guys in the combat stands. All right, but we're going to uh, mix it up a little bit with the Delahiva and then the spider guard as well. Cool. Okay, so we're going to play a shallow hook, all right, just like that, and holding onto the ankle or holding the pants, preferably just holding the ankle for this way. Cool. We're going to be in the balance even here, but instead of putting our foot onto the hip, all right, or onto the um, onto the knee to push them away, we're going to step our foot straight into the bicep here. All right, so we're kind of like playing a spider Delaheva. Cool. So we're mixing our two positions together, spider guard and the Delaheva now. All right. The good thing about this is, like, if he starts to try to press forward on me, I kind of have, like, a nice wall, and I can stretch his arms out, and I've got a lot of leverage. Like, I've got a lot of torque on his body up and down here, too. All right? Another good way to play Dalahiva is also with the lasso. Okay? So we'll go through some stuff with the lasso as well. We'll start off with the spider, but Dalahiva lasso is really strong, too, because it stops him from moving forward and back, just like my hook does. But it just gives a, a, a bit of added uh, bonus there, a cool. bit, bit more pressure. But we're just going to play with the spider, all right, and the Delahiva. So the grips, just a normal spider guard grip, and either grabbing the pant, either, for this one, grab the ankle, guys, because we want to control the ankle a little bit here. Now remember, we're going to do the same concept, what we do when we do the, like a tilt sweep, where we tilt them over. So my goal is to try to twist his ankle, like I'm twisting around hip, around my hip. Right, so I'm trying to do that with his ankle. The more I can get his ankle to turn and use pressure with my knee, the better to do the sweep, right? So if his leg is just straight, it's nice and planted, that's going to be good base for him. But if I can sort of peel his foot out for him to go onto his toes while I'm doing the sweep, that's going to be really helpful. Step your foot in the bicep, okay? And now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to, like, with that control that I've got here, I'm going to sort of combine everything, but I need to put some weight into it. I can't just sort of try to pull him down because he can pull back up. So I'm going to sort of turn my body and lift his leg. All right? So it's almost like a bit of a pendulum movement. I'm sort of like stretching. And then as I do this, I'm turning. I'm lifting a little bit with my hook. And I'm bringing this elbow down to the ground. And my goal is to have his foot off the ground and his elbow on the ground. Right? So I'm doing the opposite. So if I just try and do that, though, that's going to be hard. So I need to turn my body as I do it. So I'm going all the way onto my side. All right. So we go one, two, we're playing here, and then I'm going to turn and go here. Now that he's here, I'm going to do a really quick swim. I'm just going to take my foot off his bicep, and I'm going to hook the back of his uh, thigh here or his knee. And all I'm going to do is pull this towards me. So as I come up onto my elbow, I'm going to pull that leg underneath. I'm just going to pull like this. Cool. Now from here, I'm going to keep in the same position. We, we've already done this before when we do our Dalahiva sweep. I'm going to come up, keep a hold of his foot, and now I'm going to start to smash his leg down, under hook, slide off, and I'm going to get my side control. Make sure when you come up, you're still holding the ankle. And I'll explain why when I do the sweep now. So we're one, two, look, don't forget about the torque. You need to get this twist going. If I do this, He's just going to fight back. If I turn my body and lift his leg, see how I'm sort of lifting his leg up? It's going to make, make it much harder for him. I'm completely changing the angle of his knee. Okay? Now I hook and I bring this leg in. Come up. Now, don't let go here. If you let go here now, he's just going to pull that leg and play guard. I've already got this leg kind of locked now, like in, on my hip. So keep that heel. Just tuck the elbow and keep the heel up. And what is that going to do? turns his knee to the ground. So for him to play guard again, he needs to turn his heel down so he can bring his knee up. But if I roll his ankle, it's harder for him to play the, uh, the knee up, right? So it's harder for him to, to turn and get his leg up. And then I combine that by getting up and combine that with my knee. And now I can take off the leg because I've pinned his leg to the floor. So now he can't bring it up. All right, now my hand needs to go under his arm, chest to chest, slide through and get the side control there, cool? So, Galahiva, Spider, remember, it's the torque that we're looking for. I'm not pushing him backwards. I'm even just extending and turning and lifting. So I'm bringing his leg up onto me. As soon as he gets here, I'm taking this one off, 
collecting that leg, coming up to my elbow, and now I'm just going to make sure that his foot is tucked. From here, foot goes to the floor, come up, smash the leg down, keep your hook over the top, and start to work on getting on top here, guys. A good place to put the arm, if you're like, oh, where do I put the arm? You can either put it out, okay? Or I like to put it like over their body. So as I'm passing, I like to punch the arm. So as soon as I start to pass the guard, I can kind of roll him and start to work on getting to his back as well or tying this arm up. But it's up to you guys. It's basically just like you need to just make sure that he can't push you away, right? So you don't want to come up and then have, have him pushing on you and things like that. So again, one, two. Look, you can even put some pressure. Please go here. Take the leg out. Come up. Make sure that you got the foot until your knee can clamp. Now we can go here. Now if you're finding it's like way too far to go, you can just go straight to the hip. Like just go to the hips here. Right? And then you can work your way to the side control. You don't have to go straight to the chest to chest. If you're feeling like it's just too much, just control the hip. And then start to work your way out. Alright, we'll go one more. So you guys will kind of feel it when you go to do it. As you go to do it, if you're just pushy, it's not gonna work. This needs to hinge, and the elbow needs to turn and go down. Take the leg out, come up. All right, keep that leg up, turn down, and pass it up. Cool. Thanks, Gab. All right, guys, on three. Ready? One, two, three. If you need uh, any help with it,